Hi, my name is Mia from the Spotlight Team, and I'm here with Mrs. Jars. Today, I will be interviewing her. The first question I will be asking Mrs. Jars is, "What has inspired you to become a teacher?" Um, ever since I was a little girl, I had an interest in pretend school at my house growing up, and I used to play school and act like a teacher in my mother's kitchen. Um, and then, as I got older, I realized I admired my aunt, who was a teacher at the time. She's since retired. Um, and I just, I thought I wanted to do something working with kids or young children and I could try to make a difference in someone's life. So I'm a people person, so I wanted to be around people. Okay, so the second question I have for you is how has teaching changed your life? Teaching has changed my life in a very positive way. Um, I think it's made me a better person, a um, better listener. I definitely have an understanding of differences. Um, patience, I've learned to be patient over the years. So our next question is, what is something you want to accomplish later on in the future? Something I've always, always wanted to do, and I love music, is to learn how to play an instrument. I've always said I've Someday I want to learn how to play an instrument when I find the time. Yeah. So that's something I would really like to do. It's like, a, is there any like specific instrument you would like to play? No. Just, just, any type of just anything. Maybe the piano, maybe the clarinet. But I always wish when I, that was one regret I had when I was younger, but I never, we are, I had the love for music, but I never played an instrument, took up an instrument in my own schooling. So, it's never too late. <laughs> yeah, it's never too late. So for my last question is, what is a secret that viewers might want to know about you? A secret? How about a surprise for some yeah. people? Surprise. A surprise, um, after 35 years of teaching, I will be retiring next next week. So this will be my last two weeks of school. It's kind of bittersweet. Um, I'm gonna miss the kids. I'm gonna miss all my students, all my teacher friends, the Tanny family. Um, but it's gonna give me some time now to spend some quality time with my family and do some things that I haven't had a chance to do. Hi, I'm Abby. I'm with the Spotlight team, and today I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Foresta. What's one thing that your students have taught you? So, if I had to pick one thing, I know obviously patience, but more than that, I think they've taught me to be empathetic as a person. Mm -hmm. um, I've just watched so many different kids persevere through many challenges, and I've met all kinds of um, amazing students that I've worked with in different families. And I think I've just learned to be empathetic, not just towards children, but just people in general, more empathetic. If you weren't a teacher, what would your occupation be? So I would absolutely definitely be a private investigator because I, I love that. I'm really good at reading people and I feel like I do it pro bono for my friends and things like that. So I would absolutely love to be a private investigator. That sounds like a lot of fun. It does. It does. How long have you been teaching? So I have been teaching for 15 years. I started at the Tenney 15 years ago, and I started first as a reading specialist. So I taught three years as a reading specialist, and then I went into the classroom in third grade. I looped with that class, and now I have been in fourth grade for 11 years. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Since teaching takes up a lot of time, what's one thing that you do when you're not in the classroom? So my family definitely um, takes up almost all of my time when I'm not at school. I have a daughter. She's in kindergarten, five years old. She's very um, busy mm -hmm. and energetic, so she takes up a lot of my time. My son is nine. He's in fourth grade, coincidentally. So mm -hmm. I love spending time with him too. And my husband and I um, 
we like to do a lot of fun things. We like to go a lot of places with the kids. And we also have a dog, a rescue dog named Derby. So most often I spend my free time with my family, my immediate family, and then um, my extended family and friends. How long have you had your dog? So I think it's been about three years since we rescued Derby. He's our second rescue dog. And um, yeah, he's the best. That's wonderful. Yeah. Hey, Spotlight. Today, we're here with Ava Aziz. So what's your favorite thing about Miss Fresta? I liked how she was always really kind and funny and always made learning really easy. What activities have Miss Resta done that help you become the person you are? Um, she always did these really fun math games with stations, and it really helped learning faster and stuff. Yeah. So if you were having a bad day, what was something that Miss Resta did to make you smile? She was always very nurturing and always made sure that if you were struggling, you needed help. So. <laughs> So, Tommy Lone, uh, what's one thing that you loved about Miss Resta? Oh, that she was a good teacher and that she actually helped me get my work done and that I didn't fail her class, surprisingly. So, yeah. What's one of your favorite memories with Miss Resta? Oh, so, uh, I one time broke the cubby in line, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, tell us about it. So, uh, I tried swinging on the cubby on the line to like gym and then like it like the whole top part like came loose and then like I fell back. Then I was <laughs> laughing at me. This sounds like an interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, today we're gonna be interviewing Fiorella. What has made Miss Foresta's class super exciting? Foresta Fiestas. Can you tell us more about it? It's basically like if we're being really good, she puts one letter of the those two words and then if we if we finish up and we finish spelling those two words we get a really fun party cool sounds super fun what's your favorite thing that miss frisco has taught you definitely when we were learning about immigrants and immigration cool what'd you learn that some immigrants didn't all go through Ellis Island to go to New York or New Jersey. Cool. Was that really exciting to it learn about? It was really exciting. Cool. So what's your favorite thing about Miss Fresta? That I can feel comfortable being right next to her. My favorite part about having Mrs. Fresta was how much fun she made learning. It made, I mean, I looked forward to going to school every single day. It was so much fun. And also she made her class feel like a real family. We were all wicked close and we got along and it was great. Hi, Mrs. Jarris. I cannot believe that Friday is your last day at the Tenney Grammar School. You have taught me so much about teaching and love and laughter and patience. Every day I look forward to seeing you um, in our room. You're the first smile that I see. We always have so much fun together, laughing and doing what we love to do, working with kids. At the end of the day, um, you've taught me so many life lessons. I'm really, really going to miss you. But I know that you are on to the next chapter of your life and on to bigger and better things. I can't wait to see you nice and tanned and relaxed and we can hang out whenever we want. Good luck. Love you. Hi, Ms. Jaris. Uh, thank you for everything that you've done. This is helping me read and lose my speech language. You support everyone, even Carlos. Um, Abby and the other one. Hey, Ms. Jarris. Uh, I know that every time I have come in in the last two years, you always make the students feel loved and you encourage them to know that they can do it and you give them every opportunity to let them do that, whatever they need to do to be successful. And more importantly, you have let me know that I am loved and that you will give me every opportunity to do the best job that I can. And that is what I will miss. And I wish you the best of luck in the new chapter in your life. Thank you. My best memory of working with Ms. Jarvis is when she first returned here from her time away from the Tenney. 
we had a mutual student and within a couple of days of being here, she came to me and she had a new plan for the student, how we're gonna approach it. And it was just that she immediately seemed to truly understand this young lady and everything she needed. And I knew immediately this was someone who loved their students, who loved their job and who's gonna be amazing to work with. And I just feel so lucky and blessed to have gotten to work with her and how much I've learned from her. Um, and she'll truly be missed. Um, although I'm sure she'll have a good time after she leaves. Hi, Mrs. Jaris. Uh, happy retirement, you have earned it. Um, the caring and the care and love that you have shown to your students over the past few years is just um, unmatchable. Um, even the kids that aren't, aren't on your, weren't on your caseload, um, you stayed extra hours for them and uh, I'm sure they are eternally grateful. So enjoy your retirement, we'll miss you, we love you, come back and visit. Hi Mrs. Jarris. I just wanted to say congratulations. It has been such an honor and a pleasure to work with you. You have such compassion for your children and your, your students and even us teachers, especially my little boy who you worked with so long ago. I hate to tell you how old he is now. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful retirement. Hi, Mr. Harris. I wanted to say thank you very much for the past two years with me. You really helped me improve my math skills and I've been struggling for, since fourth grade and I just didn't think I was ever going to be good at math in seventh grade. I heard about you from my brother and then my brother said you were amazing and I'm like, and then you came and then you helped me out the first year, a little rough, but the second trimester came, it was a passing grade. Eighth grade, it was phenomenal. I mean, first and second trimester were amazing. I stayed after school, got my work done, got extra help. You show me how to show me the math skills, show me how to do step by step, which is I love that. And you show the problem out, and it uh, it was it is affecting it's helping me out in high school and the GLTS. I'm doing I tell you I'm doing great at GLTS. My math grades are awesome, great, and it's I just want to say thank you so much for helping me out, and I can know know what to do without you. Hat retirement, it's been knowing you. Again, we want to say thank you um, for all you've done for Dominic. Uh, you've been an uh, amazing teacher above and beyond for Dominic. You, you, you truly care for your students and you were very concerned about him and you just took him under your wing and you have helped him uh, go from, we, we, we have seen as parents a, a change in his math. Um, and we can't thank you enough for building his confidence outside the classroom as well. So um, thank you again and enjoy your retirement. Happy retirement, Sue. And now you can really have it your way. Have it your way.